back again. Um, we're gonna work a little bit of heel work here. I'm gonna maybe work on a little bit of, uh, I should've brought my whistle, I was gonna maybe stop her to a whistle here. Um, I may end up um, putting her on like a little bit, a bit of what I'm gonna call a remote stand. Um, it's not really woe training, but the idea would be um, practice some habits of standing still. Um, steadiness, patience. So what I'm real happy about is when we walked down here from the house, the guys were up at the house with me and we walked down and Ben, I don't know if you noticed it, but you were walking right behind me and the ice was crunching. We, everything's melting off right now and it was crunchy and <clears throat> it was noisy. And normally that would have probably made her pretty nervous. Do you see how she healed? She healed real nice, tail was out. So she's getting used to it. We're gonna be able to probably loosen her up a little bit. I think the whole point of it, we talked about it last time is, or a couple times ago, is the idea of if something happens in your training, you can't use these as like exact step-by-step -step series because they're not. Um, they're gonna vary dog to dog. They're gonna vary day to day. Um, but what you gotta re you gotta take away is like the bigger picture stuff and the bigger picture stuff like if you run into problems, how come? What is the problem? How do you, where do you gotta go to fix that problem? Uh, I'm not big on like curing symptoms. I like to find the root of the disease and, and cut it off from the beginning. So yeah, you might have to treat some symptoms throughout and at times, look at that nice little move on her part. I rarely have her sit. Um, very nice. That to me is a sign of patience. <clears throat> that to me is a sign of, I'm gonna be here a while, I'll get comfortable. So really some very nice things happening with her um, at, at this point. And I feel like it's a combination of our training and her just growing up, um, maturing a bit. And so is she mature? Not at all. She's very immature. She's very puppy like, but she is showing me these more little flashes of, of kind of adulthood and, and behavior wise is matching that. So I'm going to start into heel with her. We're going to do some lefts. We're going to do some rights. We're going to do some turns. We're going to move into a little bit of remotes, um, remote steadiness heel. And we'll go from there and see what happens. Going to vary the pace. Logan, if you want to move, you certainly can. I, I feel comfortable with the idea of adding that layer of distraction. I think we should do that. I really like her mirroring my pace right now. I'm starting to get more comfortable with feeling her in the right position. Like I can feel at the end of this line, and I think I haven't even hardly talked about the loose lead idea. Look how loose the lead is. We're not steering her, this isn't a steering wheel. So it's a nice loose lead that's got a, it's arced down. There's a loop at the line. And if I have to correct her, I lift up and put pressure on, and then I turn it off. I get the change and then I turn it off. That's the key. So now we can kind of start talking more mechanics because she's starting to understand what the position of heel really is. And that is my left side, her shoulder about where my knee is. Great pace. And then we're going pretty slow. So then how do you keep them honest? Well, speed up a little bit. Good, good, very good. Look at those back feet working. Good, 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 good. Heal, good. We've been working, I, I've been healing her in the house, so cameras aren't always rolling. I've been putting her on a lead. I talked about it in a session or two ago. I've been working on really short sessions of heel work that are three or four minutes, and I put her on a lead, I take her off her place, I walk her through the house a little bit and we work on this footwork. We work on that position. And her body is still bending funny. Her body is still bending that way. We would prefer it to go this way, that she'll get better at that. That she's gonna realize that it's more efficient to bend the other way and truly lead with her hind legs. Right now she's following, she's chasing her hind legs. There. Good. But I want this heel work to be so good, and I'm a stickler on heel work because I feel like if you can't get it right right here, you will never get it right out there. So, and when I say it, I mean whatever it is you're asking of them, heel. If I ask her to quarter this way, she's not gonna, she's, I, don't, I don't expect her to be able to follow me well out there if she can't follow me well right here. It has to start at ground zero. 
So with her, with a, with a retriever, I might want that connection for handling. Good, heel. Good. With this dog, I might want it for range and movement and there's gonna be a little bit of a, a difference too with, now she stands still, so I bump her feet. Good, now don't you start thinking you can stand still. You gotta stay with me. Now, you see how her nose is up and she's a little distracted that way? She's not with me. That's the first correction we've had to do today. And it threw her off a little, good. Let's do it again. Keep moving, keep moving. We're outside and I do not want her to be distracted by the outside and the temptations and the scents more than me. I want this dog working with me. Come on. Good. I want that dog stopping and looking up at me, not putting the wind nose up into the wind and seeing, well, what's over there? Come on. Good. I want that to be the correction instead of that last one. A little wiggle of the lead, and we're going this way. Come on, girl. And she turns and comes with me. Good. There. Good. Heel. And I want to be able to do this perfectly on lead because eventually we're going to go off lead. I need her to do the same thing. Got to remember, I'm going to hunt this dog for three months out of the year. For 12 months out of the year, she's going to be our family dog. So when we go for walks, when we go camping, when we go up north to the cabin, when we go visit our friends, soccer games, whatever it is we're doing, I want her to be really a well-behaved, well-mannered little dog. Good. She's out of position. Good. 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 There. Good dog. There's a good dog. There's a good dog. Moved away, gave her a little bit of an island to sit on. If this was a retriever, I'd have her sit usually for that. We're not quite there yet. We're not doing that with her yet. I just want to, ah! Nope. I just wanted body language right now to speak to her. There's no cue. There's no verbal right now. She wouldn't know what it meant anyway. So if she moves, she's corrected. Good. I'm going to get away from her and create space. I'm going to move back in without trying to get her that pressure to move her. I don't want to pressure her. Heal. Good. When you get too close to them, you get their right feet antsy and they start moving around. I don't want her to stay still from the moment I walk away from her to the moment I slide back into heel position. Good. Good. Keep moving, keep moving. See how her feet got stuck there? Keep moving. Keep moving. Good. So let's just go back into a rhythm of heel. Throw, threw her off probably a little bit by asking her to stand still and have that remote steady stand. Good. Nice adjustment on her part. Let's see if we can. So the noise down there, wind blowing a tarp, spooked her. Good. Wind started blowing, spooked her off, and she went, oh. And then I said, nah, it's all right, I'm here. Good, come on. Good. <clears throat> now what I like is the tail came back out. A couple weeks ago, she was so soft about stuff like that. She'd clamp down and quit. I mean, she literally would freeze up and quit. Good. Yeah. So I want to work through that little interruption of noise. Good. So I'm not going to start asking her to be out on an island right now because she's half thinking about what we what she does know how to do. She's questioning that. Good. So build her confidence back up. Good. 
Good. Look at that tail. Get, get those feet moving. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go. Good. Good. Here. Get your feet moving. Good. Keep moving. There. Come on. Good. 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 Keep going. There, the tarp's whipping again. Let's just let her listen to that. Let her look and realize there's nothing there to be afraid of. Good. All right. Come on. Let's go. Good. Very nice. Pulls away. Good. Come on. Tail goes back up. Good. It's really not that bad. She's going to be a little bit of one of those dogs that gets startled about new stuff, I think. Now there's a four-wheeler right here. That's perfect. Or a something. Good girl, heel. Work through that. Eventually we're going to be healing by some busy streets. Because that's going to be a... We're going to take steps to get there. But that's something that she's just not 100% not sure on. Nope. There. Good. So she forgets. Once in a while, if we go away from that turn for a little bit, she kind of starts to forget it. Forget the move. And so, go back to it. And I wiggle, I wiggle that lead to keep her feet moving. I'm wor working that lead. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. There's a good dog. Good girl. Way to get through it. Let her think for a little bit. There's the noise of the tarp. Step her away from it. Good. It's just a tarp. Good. Heel. Good. Good. Good girl. Heel. Nope. I don't want you swinging out like that. That's a bad habit. I'm going to try to nix it from the start here. Heel. Good. Heel. Good. Heel. Good. Heel. Come on. See this? I don't know that we've covered more than 50 yards in a healing session yet. I think that's surprising to a lot of people is you te I teach heal in a really small area. And I'm just going back and forth, back and forth. Heal. Eventually we're gonna start up here. And we're gonna turn part way. Nope, and she's out of position. It's a different drill. We're gonna stop, turn. She's gotta come and we'll go off. Good. Good. I don't want her going beyond that. Come on. Good. She should move up. Good. She should not get in the way of me. We're a little tight here to do this drill. Good. Come on. Good. Good. See how she's making those little micro adjustments to my body? Good. Good. These are all nailing down, come on, good. The idea of where is heel, where should I be? You should always be just to my left. Good. Come on, move up, move up, good. Now turn around on her, good. There you go, good job. All we're doing is getting her to understand where she got to be, where she got to be, where she got to be. And we have to be real repetitious with it. We got to do it quite a bit. But she's catching on really well. Ah! Ah! Good. Good. 
Good. There's pressure. Ah. Good. Good. Step on that ice a little bit, make some noise. Good. Good. There's a good dog. Look how uncomfortable she can get when you do something new. Good. That's a good girl. Heel. Good. And then do something comfortable with her and look how she just gets, do something that she's used to and look how comfortable she gets. Good. That's it. That's going to be our session for today. We got a little bit of a remote steadiness. I think the value was the tarp blowing. Um, she did a very nice job. She's showing me that it's making sense to her, starting to click, She's starting to understand where heel really means she needs to be. And now we'll start adding stuff. We did a little bit of square drill today, and I thought she did that really well. Uh, settled into the spot, settled into the spot. So we'll do that for a little while, and then we'll turn around and do it the opposite way. And then we'll add different variations to it. But there's lots of different things that we can do to continue to get her to understand. Heel means come right here and be next to me. And then also in, we can start incorporating the idea of it's not always fast action and fast pace. That's life. Like, that's not just this drill. That's just in general. We're going to go slow. We're going to stop at times. We're going to let the thing blow and just look at it. And it's quite all right. Bangs don't bother her nearly as much as a motor does. So, no intro to gunfire yet. We haven't done it. We'll do it when we're ready. Just, I don't, I don't see any reason to do it right now. There's no value in pushing it too soon. Just things like that. Dropping a pot once in a while on accident. Things like that she's getting used to the bangs of. Good. But that's a good session. We'll put her up, let her sleep on that. Uh, I should note that this is, we're like midday. It's 1 o'clock or something, 1.30. And this morning I had her out and ran her with my other dogs and just did a nice free run with her. And I actually worked my other dogs on some retrieving and some long memories and some blinds. And she just kind of tagged along, got in the way a little bit. Um, not enough to throw my big dogs off. It's a good distraction for them. But then at one point she was annoying the hell out of Taylor, biting at her, nipping at her, um, trying to steal dummies on the way back. So I t had my leash with me and I put her on lead and we walked probably four or five hundred yards back to the house under control on lead and we did it like this with the lead behind the leg and she and it was very different it's very different to heel off in the snow and the ice than it is on this driveway so look how well she does here when I come over to the ice in the driveway or the ice in the field there's a lot of snow or smells there's all kinds of stuff there's you got to walk through cover so she struggled with it and I and that's why I put this behind my le leg and she self-corrected herself quite a few times she got pretty good at it actually Come on. good girl so it's a lot harder to heal in these conditions than it is on that driveway come on come on oh gotta go potty good good girl so it's a lot harder we'll we'll move from getting really good over there to having her be real good over here. But she's starting that too. Good. But this is more challenging. It's more tempting to want to run around in this stuff. Come on. Good. So that's it. That's another good session with her. Um, we'll just keep plugging away one day at a time.